So recently I got access to project IDX. Well, if you don't know what it is, it's basically kind of a competitor to VS Code by Google, but it's an online ID. And now that I have access to its preview version, let's find out what happens. Uh, I have no idea how it's gonna be. And uh, yeah, let's do it. So the URL is idx.google.com. Okay, the site is actually kind of cool. I start building your app in the cloud. So the fact is everything is hosted on the cloud and it does not require any of your machine power, which is actually good. Even if you have a crap PC like me, it's going to be fine. So we have some templates, start something new from a template. Let's see what we have. Angular, Next, Astro, React, HTML, simple HTML. That's good. Uh, View, Solid, Preact. Okay, then we have backend, Go, Python. That's kind of nice. I thought there would be React Native for Expo, but I guess it currently only supports Flutter. So on the AI and ML, we have the Gemini and Palm API. I don't know what those do, what these are, even are. So I'll just skip it and I have the MISC. Okay, let's just go back to the main page and I'm just gonna import one of my projects. Let's see, importer. Okay, so I have to give it my repo URL. Okay, let's go to my GitHub. Let's actually import my PRM server. The Express server that I built it is currently private, but it will be public once PRM goes live. So let's actually get this URL and paste it over here. That's not a Flutter app. So I'm just here to prompt the GitHub credentials after opening the workspace. Uh, let's see, import. Setting up your workspace, preparing VM, building your environment, finalizing. So it's currently 12.31 when it started. And let's see how, oh, it actually got to preparing VM. Let's see how much time it takes. Oh my God, my eyes, ouch. It actually kind of looks like VS. This extension GitHub wants you to sign. Okay, that's good. You're all set, good. Okay, now it's again gonna build your environment. Okay, that's good. Okay, finally, I guess we're ready. We got our files. So we have this project IDX tab that is new over here with project ideas or into project ideas and experimental web-based development workspace from Google. So the docs, dashboard, I don't care, share workspace, project IDX commands. Hmm, I gotta check it out. Project IDX settings, troubleshooting, send feedback, uh, view release notes. And I guess that sums it up. Now, what does this thing do? IDX, yeah, I click to get started. Is it gonna be like bird? Oh yeah, obviously I want it open. Continue. Let's just actually ask this question. Is it gonna be as good as uh, GitHub Copilot? I do not have access to external website. Okay, that's weird. Okay, let's actually not talk about it. Yeah, this is our file structure, the next trace thing that we built. File-based routing on Express Server. So you can just check that out from my, just clone it, give it a star, whatever you want. Oh, so is it actually like Linux? So if this is Linux, I believe I have Node. Do I? Now, if we have Node, I believe we have NPM too. Do we have PNPM? I believe not. Okay, we do not have that. I guess this is a good start because we can have bun over here. So NPM, I, I believe we do not have bun, right? Bun should not be inbuilt. Bun-V. So let's actually install bun. NPM I-G bun. Okay, that was fast, but we need a version change in NPM. So I'm just gonna update the version. Okay, I guess we are good. Let's actually check out our bun version 1.0.26. So now we can actually install all the packages, bun i. Okay, that was crazy fast. It took only four seconds, bruh. You gotta be kidding me. The fact is I use Windows, so I, I do not have access to bun because WSL has that bug with hot reload. So now that we have this ready, I guess we can just run bun dev. Uh, we have script dev existed. Oh, okay. So I have to actually make some changes. I'm just going to delete the PNPM lock. I believe we have a section for watch bun dash dash watch or something like that. Yeah, watch mode. Okay, so bun dash dash watch with the file name. Okay, good. Let's actually try it out then. This should work, right? Let's try it out. Bun dev. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. I, we need those variables. So let me actually just import it from my local device and I'll be back after importing. It. Okay, so I have imported it. I think this should work now. Bun dev. Is this coming from bun? Okay, this doesn't work for some reason, but at least we're watching this file, right? So if I try to send a request to this uh, endpoint that I don't know what this endpoint is. So by default, we're actually hosting it on 3001, if I'm not wrong. But what is the URL? It's, it, it cannot be a local host, right? Let's write logger.info. Will intelligence work over here? Yeah, it does work. Let's write full URL. Uh, do we have an server.address? 
will the address return as the address of the server that we are hosting like this should actually you know fully are with our address let's run it again this should run again automatically but let's just run it again once more this 3001 in use we removed that right so this should not be in use okay so after tinkering with it a few times uh, i mean i've been debugging for maybe 30 minutes i guess and well i found out some interesting things that burn error that we previously had with that fs thing so i actually installed pnpm again and removed all the node modules in the burn lock file after that i ran the pnpm install and transpiled the code into this build folder now here are some things to get access to the endpoint of this idx thing you need to go to this project idx so we have the two access backend servers from the web frontends you see mapped urls below i have two questions whenever we start the server does it automatically like gets this port and assigns it to a random url and second i'm currently not using this 8282 and 4001 previously when it was not working i changed it to 4001 then started it i had the same issue but like 4001 is already in use and now i'm using 3001 so i get it that 3001 is working we have this port ready on 3001 and there is no error how am i supposed to remove this one from here because we do not have option for this one if i go to this documentation well it seems like they have a FAQ section for this one with how can i set up my apps backend on my workspace now we plan to simplify this in near future but for now use this warning workaround Projects that have an API backend can start their API services either manually in a terminal or configure the startup command in monospace.json file. Now this file was a bit weird for me because I'm not used to Nix. So I kind of copied it inside my .idx slash tape.nix file and just put my nvvars over there like uh, the upload thing secret uh, app ID and I guess the port. So once you put it, you just hit apply and then it actually asks you to rebuild the environment. So I did that. Well, when it reloaded, like rebuild the whole environment 4001 port was here because i added that in that port inside the env but when i tried to start the server well it gave me the error 4000 is already in use so i get it it's already in use that's why it is in the backend port but how am i supposed to remove it now next up once you're done setting it we have this bash command like script with export port with the port number so it actually logs the url that i'm supposed to use okay i'm supposed to copy it right i copied it if I paste it over here, I go over here, I get this cannot get and I completely understand it. We're currently in production. I'm supposed to restart it now and I'm going to do it. Okay, we have this port ready over here. So I'm just going to exit from this process. Then I'm just going to hit PNPM build. Okay, okay. Th that th Look, I'm going to be honest, that didn't happen before. The last time I did that after exiting from the process, it did not clear the 3001. Now, it, I, I hate it. Whatever, so we build it. Now, if I actually start the server, it should work. Yeah, we, we are on 3001. If I actually go to slash home. Okay, so we have cannot get home, which is weird. Because if I open it locally, and I'm going to create the same structure with home slash page.tsx. Oh, wait, I actually did something wrong. I'm supposed to write export default function. It should be a default export. And I'm going to start the server. This should work now. If I reload the page, okay, it still gives me error. Okay, that's good then. Now let's roll the server pnpm build on my local machine. Okay, now if I start this server, this should work. Okay, so the server is ready. I'm just gonna go to localhost 3001 and then home. Wait a minute, it did not transpile my TSX file. Is this because I didn't add it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and I forgot to add this TSX tag. I guess this should work now, pnpm start. And if I reload, yes, this thing works. Now let me actually get this code, paste it in my IDX. I'm gonna build it again and I'm gonna start the server. It did work. Now, if this thing works, supposedly our API endpoint should also work. So I'm actually gonna go to my Thunder client or for example, let's actually send a request to our native endpoint, like locally hosted endpoint. So I'm gonna upload my CV and let's see whether it extracts the text from it or not. So I'm just gonna hit send and we have the text extracted in our response. Now let's try it with our project IDX. So let me actually grab my URL and I believe I'm supposed to paste it over here before the API. Now, what am I just supposed to send it? Okay, let's actually send it. Okay, something's not right. That's not how it is supposed to go. Could not send the request to this endpoint. Okay, that's weird. Do we like need any headers or authentication? Do I need to put HTTPS? Okay, HTTP maybe? Nope, still doesn't work. 
do i need to like uh use our native thunder client that is actually important this is installed so i'm just gonna grab it over here uh oh sorry uploader id and we have this uploader so at first i'm not actually gonna send any files let's see what happens is it gonna work i believe that's a no okay can i actually send it to localhost so we can have http let's cancel this request and send it again uh okay now i'm completely like lost okay let's actually uh, upload a file and check whether it works or not okay so i uploaded this resume file and i'm just gonna select it now i'm just gonna send it and it worked i was not expecting it to work but it worked okay oh my god what's happening so i guess there is project idx it's good it's weird it's preview <laughs> but it's still good i mean yeah it's 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 way faster than my personal pc so i'm gonna be using it for my like heavy projects like prm obviously so i'm gonna use it with project idx i mean why not it's cool so i'm actually gonna shut down this server i still have to read some docs because it is kind of weird when i actually tried because look this ports are not gone 4001 and 8282 why these are not gone how can i delete them so i gotta read the docs if you have access to project idx go use it I guess it's kind of cool. It's still in preview, so bugs are expected. And these URLs didn't work with my local device when I tried to paste them. So yeah, I guess that's it. I hope it was a not completely good, but a weird experience. Thanks for watching the video. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Goodbye. Have a good day. Peace.